Strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory. Tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat. That's what I want to talk to you briefly about today. And uh, I'm going to be that person that talks about the art of war. Uh, Sun Tzu, that's uh, the words from Sun Tzu. And uh, he was a general strategist. And this was chiefly uh, the art of war. It was chiefly, I have the illustrated version. I've got a couple different versions. I'm that weirdo. But, um, you know, being, a, being in competitive sports my entire life at the highest level even it's it's one of those things that you know strategy is is likened to war in so many ways but there's good re there's good reason for that and Sun Tzu, Sun Tzu was uh was a war strategist but a lot of these same things and principles are usually applied to business because uh as a Chinese philosopher and strategist he had more ideas than just carnage right like he understood what the value of winning actually is and it's not just about complete annihilation of your enemy or your competition. Um, there's a lot of ways to win. There's a lot of ways to gracefully win, but it's it's not about grace, it's not about glory. It's just about winning in a way that sets you up so you don't have to fight. And that's one thing that I want you all to be thinking about is, what are you doing in your business that you're calling a tactic? And what are you doing in your business that you're calling strategy? I always thought, you know, a lot of people quote this, um, it's one of the most famous quotes in this in his book, uh, in this book that's been remodeled and redrafted 1,000 different times, 1,000 different ways, right? But I always thought that in that quote, the most interesting thing was he, s he says strategy without tactic, tactic is the slowest route to victory. So if you focus on strategy, there is a path to victory. It's just not fast. But if you looked at the other side, tactics, if you don't have a strategy, ultimately ends in defeat, no matter which way you cut it. Now, obviously, he could he didn't expand in that way, but that's the way to interpret that is he associated, and this is someone who's highly decorated as a, as a war general, but this is this is someone saying, look, if you have a strategy, but you don't have the implementation part, I mean, you're still you still could figure it out. It's just going to take a while. How much of your business is focused around a tactic and not necessarily a strategy? For instance, good example, you probably want to rank page one on Google. Why? Why? There are definitely instances, for, for instance, my business, I don't really care about ranking page one. I don't at all, because my business is not about volume. I don't need thousands of people to be in my membership for me to deliver high value. I, wanna, I want to transform a business from the inside out. Now, to whoever that business is, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to focus on that customer at that time, at that moment, on their need, and I'm going to go deep. That's my strategy. My strategy is get the right person the one who wants to do the work, the one who's open to change, the one who wants to hear how to make something better from a group of people who have been in the world's biggest firms and can say, look, it's, it's not a complete overhaul, but I'm telling you right here, right now, this is what, what your consumer wants and here's how to deliver on it. So the strategy for Deep Bridge Consulting, for instance, is not to rank page one. It's to get the right customer who wants to hear the message about being transformed. It's that simple. That's not everyone. Some people just want a quick win. Some people just want the glory without all the work. That, we're not concerned about rank one. Why is it that you want to rank, rank uh, page one? It's a great, you know, you may want it and there's nothing wrong with it. But think about how much of your business is focused around Facebook ads, is focused around what's our next, you know, our, our, our next big thing, what's our next, next big promotion. Those are all tactics. That's not a strategy. A strategy is where you're going. The tactic is how do you actually get there? Right? So what is the destination versus what is the journey? The destination ultimately is the most important part. If you're going on vacation and it's to another country, you know that, that's the most important part. How you get there, you can get there a lot of ways that cost all different kinds of money. You could fly, you can go by boat, you can walk. But that's how you should be looking at your business. What are you trying to achieve? Are you trying to get more members? Are you trying to get more customers? Are you trying to sell more widgets? All those things will drive the sort of things you should be pursuing. Now, there are overlap in those tactics, but certainly not in terms of prioritization. So if you have $100 million, if you have $100,000, if you have 100 pennies, it doesn't really matter because how you're applying that investment matters a great deal in terms of how you've ranked and prioritized your tactics, which should ladder up into one cohesive vision across your firm. And if you don't have that, good luck. Right. Like it, there, it's impossible to achieve the strategy with with tactics that aren't focused on achieving said strategy. 
So when you think about your business, think about Sun Tzu and what Sun Tzu says. Strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory. Tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat. Focus on your strategy and then set your tactics. That's how your team should be organized and that's how your thinking should be prioritized. Where do you want to go and why do you want to do it? Because sometimes that can pivot. Just be open to that. But think about that in your business and let's start growing. We'll see you tomorrow.